Okay, so Charles L. L. Fault and the Capitol Mall. Um, after the Revolutionary War, George Washington appoints L. Fault to um, design the nation's capital. Now, keep in mind, prior to that, they just meet in a couple of the cities in Philadelphia and in New York and. He comes over from France. He's born in France. He's from a family of artists and um, architects. He... Uh, Got to take a sip of my coffee here. Something I have a bad habit of doing. He... Um, that's in my way. Sorry about that. My brain's been acting like this today because I'm going in so many different directions of things I want to tell you. It's very difficult for me to stick to these short little videos, but hopefully they're helping. Let me know. So at age 22, he comes from France over here, fights in the Revolutionary War as an engineer, fights under General Lafayette. At the end of the war... He's smart. He goes to Washington. Hey, you know, I want the job. I think they start him at, he starts a firm in New York, an architectural firm that ends up being very successful. Man, young and ambitious guy. It's amazing. And then they have him redesigned, I think, City Hall for Congress to meet in, in the New York. Yeah, I guess. And then ultimately, he gets the job for the, uh, I'm going to get it wrong on the number of acres. Uh, I believe it's Jefferson and Hamilton are kind of set apart by Washington. They're on his cabinet. Okay, go find a piece of land, guys. So they're looking along the Potomac River um, between Virginia and Maryland. So each state, I think, actually had to give up a little bit of land. I'm sorry, I'm not an expert on all this, but I, I'm just trying to help you kind of, for those of you that are new to American government, if you can understand, District of Columbia is not made a state. It's its own piece of land. That way it can't be, dis you know, if it's set inside California, California could manipulate it. If it was set inside Virginia at that time, Virginia could manipulate it, was the thinking. So they wanted to set aside of tract of land. And then within that Washington, D.C., they set aside land for a park to design a beautiful nation's capital. And that's why I've gone to the efforts to, but they don't have it at first, you know. They don't get it until later because when you declare 1776, you declare um, independence, they, they fight the war, I believe. Let me look at my timeline here. Go over my timeline real quick with you. Uh, I take these bird walks. Plymouth Rock, 1608, first you know, European settlers come to the New World, 1620, Jamestown, War for Independence, Declaration of Independence, 76, 81 to 89 Articles of Confederation, our first constitution. We get our second constitution, 1789. So when the war ends here in 83, that's when all the action about where are we going to have a new, you know, Excitement, and it takes time, is the point. So, first president sets Elephant on this mission of designing, and that's why I put the diagram. And my intent is not to be the expert on architecture or on this Frenchman, or you can read more. It's just to give you an introduction and try and connect some of this stuff together and I was surprised to find out because I always do a little bit of research for these videos that he doesn't design the Capitol the Capitol building is designed by I believe William Thornton so if you're doing that this home or homeschoolers or anything like that get on Wikipedia it's a great source and do your own 
you know, bird walks off into things you're more interested. I'm just trying to give an overview and it just rid some of the basic ignorance of people not getting why is DC what it is or, um, you know, why did we have the capital here or there or whatever. So, hope this helped. Hope the diagrams helped. And like I said, do some of your more of your investigation. Okay, this is America's Teacher over and out for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.